Hi, we're going to install VMware Fusion on my Mac. Let's go to the hardware first. We're working on a very old system, an iMac 24 inch from 2008, 8 years old, but with an OS X El Capitan with, by the way, an SSD system inside to boost things a little bit. So, that being said, um, what did we do? We already downloaded the elements we're going to need. We went to VMware, and Firefox, we googled two things. We went looking for VMware Fusion Mac, we probably do it. And then we downloaded this here from there, download now. And then the other search was Windows 10 ISO, I think it's already this one. And there you have to decide which version you want to have and what language you would like to have. I took English. You confirm that and then you download it. So everything has been done already to save some time. So we double click the TMG, which is a disk image, and we double click this one as well. It says so to do. And then we type our password and wait for the system to install. When you remove the system, well, removing applications will not remove applications, if you know what I mean. So there are still some uh, elements left behind, so best is to Google if you want to uninstall VMware Fusion Mac later. You have to get rid of some of li little elements in libraries and such. I have a license key. No, I have not. I want to try it. Yes, I do. And then you have to enter a valid email address. And this is a great email address I always use. It's fantastic. And everybody will get this kind of emails. And then we just tell them again, come on, install it. No, I don't want to approve it. And then you can go and select installation methods. So if you want to import from an existing PC, and if you want to install from the recovery partition, if you want to import an existing virtual machine, some of them, some of us have already maybe divided our hard disk in two parts, one for Mac and one for Windows, so bootcamp. And then create a custom virtual machine is actually a file in which an operating system will reside. We'll choose that one. And this is the same selection we get in the, the Windows, sorry, in the VMware Workstation Pro version on Linux. So we get all the Windows versions, all the Mac versions, all the Linux versions. Novel Solaris VMware other. So we are making this tutorial for Windows 10. So we can use this one. If you have already one, you can use one. Otherwise, you have to create a new one. It's good that it's 60 gigabyte. That's really necessary. And then continue. It's going to use one gigabyte of my memory. I have four. I can't customize it here. I can't. I have to do that later if I want to. And we're going to save this. And this is where this movie is going to end. We can get rid of this here. Oh, this is just image. We can delete also the thing here, the downloads. We can delete already this one. Windows 10 is, of course, needed. And uh, we'll continue with installing Windows 10 in another one.